Greetings programs, welcome back to Payday 2, and I thought it was about time that we were due for some more um, gameplay because there's been a bunch of updates since the last time I played it, including some new DLC and uh, a free DLC that's just come out, which included an update to the inventory system, it looks rather nice now, and uh, kind of a, a mini boss as well. We've also had a new character uh, in the form of, in fact I can just show you in uh, here, uh, an ex-Yakuza guy, um, well, behind the panda mask he's there, he's actually rather interesting in that I think he's the first one that hasn't had, uh, they haven't been modelled on an actual actor, so uh, most of them, it's interesting because they had, uh, what was it, Payday Con, they kind of piggybacked off um, one of the PAX conventions and a bunch of the, the voice actors and the models were actually there, but uh, I think that guy is almost entirely uh, uh, made up, as it were. Obviously, somebody did the voice acting, but anyway. But I'm going to stick with Sokol, and I'm also going to show off some of the new weapons. Now, this is kind of my standard setup, uh, a short Nagant, and I run around with a, a Cobra as a secondary. I like to have something that's capable at least of stopping shields and not to be relying on uh, people that I'm playing with to have the right weapons necessarily. But one of the, the recent updates was a bunch of medieval weapons, and uh, let's see, it's that one. The only really nice kind of ranged weapon, I mean it had, what was it, that, there was a heavy crossbow, and uh, not planes rider, there we go, an English longbow, which has got a really long draw, but it's very accurate. But it's a bit too long so in terms of speed and in terms of um, this kind of build when you can't afford to just sit still for ages um, the light crossbow is quite nice and I've put explosive bolts on it because that uh, is obviously very useful against shields and you've also got a decent amount of ammo to go with it as well as a secondary because I've got a, a lot to play around with well actually I'll check uh, check select uh, a weapon first we'll actually go <laughs> we'll go with the great sword which is just a whacking dirty great big sword as the name kind of suggests. And we'll see how many concealment points I've got left to play with in terms of a secondary. And uh, no, let's see, I can possibly get that one. So I've got my fully upgraded Cobra. That's a kind of a stripped down Cobra, um, the, the other one. I could maybe use the Cobus, although um, that tends to go through its ammo very quickly. That doesn't have a lot of it. Whatever I use will effectively be my uh, primary. Uh, the para, I might be able to use the para, that's fairly decent. The only thing with this, uh, everything being rejigged, re is I now can't quite find what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'll get used to it in time, but um, yeah, it's somewhere. Oh, there's the para, it's right next to the thing. Okay, 35 is too much. I'm running a dodge build, so I want it kind of 25 or lower, uh, preferably. So I'll just have a click around, see what I can bodge in there. We might be running around with the Cobra, but I'm honestly fine with that. Uh, yeah, the Peacemaker. I'll run around with the Peacemaker. That won't be a terrible decision at all. Uh, no, definitely not enough for the patch. Yeah, okay, we'll just go with the, the beefy Cobra, because uh, uh, one of the mods I've got for that is um, where are we? Magazine. It's a extended magazine, so it basically doubles the magazine size, and it's um, very nice indeed. I've also got, basically, this is the only one of these I've got, the, the tank compensator, which, uh, if any of you play World of Tanks, will be very, very familiar indeed. So, we'll just preview this Cobra, because it looks a little bit ridiculous. Yes. This is what a Cobra with all the trimmings looks like. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice weapon, but it does look silly. So, we'll find a random game to jump into. Um, I'm just sticking with the Grinder Perk deck. And uh, we'll see if we can find something good. I don't have Hawks Hood at the moment. Hawks Hood will probably take a little bit longer to update because there's uh, a, a bit to catch up with. And also, um, this patch is um, maybe, I suspect there'll be some interim patches to fix stuff. Um, Hoxton, oh we've seen plenty of Hoxtons. I'm also, by the way, recording this in 1080p 60. It might not be, the final video might not be 1080p 60, but I'm recording in 1080p 60, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Big Oil, no that one takes a long time potentially. Um, Firestarter, it's only very hard, but we'll give that a go. Now, 
hopefully we'll just connect. There we go. Um, oh, the other thing I should mention at the top is that I am trying out some slightly different audio recording software this time round, because what I usually use, Audacity, ever since I upgraded to Windows 10, it's not been quite behaving itself, and that's been something of a problem. Um, yeah, I will stick with the dock bags, I think. It looks like they might be necessary. So, yeah, um, you'll have noticed in some videos where I've, I, and I've mentioned this previously, that sometimes I have to do, like, drop-ins, essentially. And, oh, hello, I'm being shot. Um... And that's a bit annoying, as you can imagine, and sometimes I just have to re-record entirely. And in fact, the Warships video that went out yesterday, um, it wasn't too bad. It only clipped a couple of seconds, and I've had as much as kind of 10, 15, 20 seconds just vanish. Uh, oh, hello. A bit of a frame rate derp there. But, um, yeah, it... it uh, it, it really has only been since Windows 10, and it's been annoying, because Audacity has been otherwise very, very reliable over the years I've been using it. So, hopefully, the thing I found is a decent alternative. Although, it mainly exports to WAV files, which are going to be absolutely huge. Especially uh, with the, the kind of length of video that this might end up being. So yeah, I've joined them kind of... Towards the end of the heist, and that's absolutely fine. It's the, the bag hauling section. But 90% of this game is bag hauling sections anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> and there we go, that guy's getting the last one. So there's one guy in custody, but that's fine. We're only uh, on the first day, so we haven't really missed a lot here at all. And you'll actually get to see the weapons in action fairly shortly. Right, oh, and these are the new guys, by the way. This is Captain... is it Winterbottom or Winterton or something like that? So, yeah, so this they kind of do a kind of phalanx thing, and I think once you kill the rest of them... I don't think you can kill him, he just kind of runs away, basically. So that's the light crossbow in action. You can see why the, the just the, the reload is very nice, and you get 50 ammo like the Plains Rider bow, but I think the reload's even better than the Plains Rider bow, so you can just whip out the shots very quickly, and it's very, very useful for dealing with... Uh, shields primarily, but you can use it against groups of enemies as well. It's very useful for knocking things over. So between this and the Cobra, it's a nice little setup. So day two, um, we've got one guy. Oh, he's only okay. He's only 141, so he's he's still infamying up. We also seem to have dropped somebody, and we don't have any ammo bags. But it's fine. We're only on very hard, and very hard is. Um, these days I mostly play on overkill or above, unless I'm specifically grinding a uh, daily mission. I am ashamed to admit I only recently figured out what the, da the daily missions were. Because for the longest time you, you'd pop up these, uh, you'd see these things pop up and say, you've completed a daily reward or whatever, and I'd just ignore it. I had no idea what those were. But if you complete a daily mission, what you can do is you can go and select a mod for the weapon of your choice, and you can select the weapon, and you can select the, the DLC pack that you want it for, but you can't select specifically which one, but it's still incredibly useful because it gives you a much uh, better chance of getting uh, a mod that you really want for a, a, a weapon that uh, is missing something. And I've actually, for the initial um, lot of missions I've done, I've been getting it for the uh, uh, the, the Lebensauger, the um, uh, WA-50, whatever it's called in real life, which is a very nice little sniper rifle indeed, and uh, uh, it, it, unlike a lot of the DLC uh, weapons, actually didn't come with all the upgrades, so I've been trying to slowly collect those, and there's a bunch I just don't have yet, so yes. I don't know why this is taking so long. Um, um, I will type something. Yes, I'm going to be all full on prima donna. Oh my god, can we just. Uh... <laughs> oh, do you remember the first video I did with the, the group of random people I ended up with? Uh, I mean, that was an exception. Most of my random games aren't like that, but occasionally you'll get. Um, mostly it's, it's fine, but sometimes you'll end up with uh, a group of people that just ignore all the objectives and run around doing their own thing, and then you know you're in for a bad time. Uh, so anyway, yeah, okay. No one's got ammo bags, which might be a slight issue for me because 
Um, the explosive bolts, I don't think you can... Uh, unless I'm completely missing something, then you can't pick them up again. You actually have to um, get them from ammo bags, much like other kinds of uh, specialist weapons. So let's see if I can't... Hello? Shoot some FBI dudes. Oh, and we've got someone joining the game. Uh, oh no, they know we're here. How terrible. So let's check along here. There's sometimes the office there. No. And there's usually some dudes here. Oh, I can actually... There we go. That's the sword. Um, oh, did I see a torch there? Now, the most annoying thing of not having Hoxhood is every time you switch weapons, you have to turn on your reticle. And that's incredibly annoying. Hoxhood does it for you automatically. That, that right there is the main reason to use Hoxhood, if nothing else. Right. Oh, loot and also parcels. This particular uh, mission is quite a nice one for parcels, but the, the loot that you find in this room is usually totally random. Like, you generally have no idea uh, what you're going to get. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be mainly using this. I have to, have to conserve my uh, ammo with the uh, crossbow a little bit. But that's fine. That can be a saved for when I uh, need it. I've got 160 rounds of this, and uh, the pickup rate is actually pretty decent because it's an SMG. So, And with all the mods, even though it's fairly ridiculous looking, it's a pretty nice little weapon. So we're just uh, doing a, a bucket chain of bags, in which case you could just call it a bag chain, I guess. I, I don't know. But a bag chain's not a thing, so yeah, I don't know. Somebody has to come up with a word for that. Oh, hello, Taser. Where is that even coming from? Oh, over there. Okay. Well, that was me not paying attention, so let's pop these shields out. And yes, you... Mr. Shield, uh, not Mr. Shield, Mr. There we go. Let's shout him up. I can't believe I ever, ever used a build without Inspire. It's like one of the most useful skills. Anyway. So let's switch weapons back and turn on the laser, which is just the most annoying thing. Just the most. That should be in the base game. I mean, there's all the other... Um, neat stuff that Hoxhood gives you, but that by far is the one that's like, why why do I have to turn on my goddamn uh, sighting laser every single time? Anyway. So that's the bags and the loot and the uh, um, thingy, the, the gauge courier packages are always nice because there's a lot of the items, a lot of the um, weapon mods that, oh you're a, one of those um, that I just don't have very many of, despite having played I don't know how many battles in this, uh, uh, battles, missions, rounds, whatever, in Payday. There's quite a lot of them that I just have got, like, one or two of. But that's because it, it, it's entirely a random drop, and so, because there are so many weapons and so many mods at this point, that, uh, sometimes the chances of, oh, getting the one that you want can be very slim indeed. That's a little bit, uh, yes. It, so that's why realizing that daily missions at least allow you to select the weapon and the DLC pack that you want the uh, particular weapon mods for is very, very nice indeed. It's like I don't, all the mods I could have had, all the missions that I completed and didn't realize that I, I could have, you know, gotten a thing for it is I just, yeah, I don't even want to think about it. It's slightly galling. Oh, hello. I should stab more people, because it's entertaining, because I've got a sword. The only thing with the sword is, it's got a long charge up time, but it's very, very powerful. It's got like a four second charge up time. There's also uh, a bearded axe, which again is a very nice hitter. There's a, a morning star, uh, there's a... oh, that's one of ours. Uh, and what else? There's, there's a shield, you can hit people with a shield. And it's basically a tie-in with the game uh, Chivalry, which I've never played, but it, it's... For me, it's it's more like Mountain Blade meets uh, Payday. Because that game is, uh, yeah. Mountain Blade 2, by the way. Well, there's going to... Not Mountain Blade 2, but there's going to be another Mountain Blade game, which is uh, relevant to my interests. So that was... Uh, was it Gamescom? They showed some footage, and they showed off the crafting system, and it all looks very... Uh, 
very uh, entertaining. So that could be good. Although I have to say, most of Mountain Blade that I've played has been the Napoleonic Wars add-on. So I, I, I absolutely hope that there's something like that for this. Uh, that they do something along those lines. Because just running around with muskets is still fun every now and then. Although I haven't done any... It's, it's been ages since I uh, uh, played with anyone to do line battles or anything of that nature. So take out those tans. Get the headshots. Boom, boom, boom. And chop a dude with a sword, as you do. So, yeah, it's it's a nice little combo, this. I mean, the sword's a bit of a slow weapon. It's very powerful if you charge it up, but... Oh, I'm getting shot from. Uh, it's... it's When it hits, it, it really does hit, but, uh, yeah. Well, let's not waste too much ammo. There's a dude. Ooh, can be a bit, uh, when you've got all this flashing going on around you, it can be a bit sometimes, uh, trying to figure out, at least for me, what's going on where. Oh, Chopper dude. Don't think that was, that wasn't a charged attack, so it, it didn't kill him. Uh, oh, that's a shield. Also a taser, and that's bad if, if you get tased by a single shot weapon, because, uh, whilst holding a single shot weapon, because there's no chance to... Ooh. There's no chance to, to whap him and disrupt his attack. As you can see, it takes down the tans very nicely. That was a double whammy. If you were just firing this, you could probably, um, if you're careful with your shots, end up with over 100% uh, accuracy, which is possible if you do lots of double shots with things like uh, uh, sniper rifles and whatnot. So let's shoot some dudes. We're escorting this guy to the exit. Oh. Oh, let's go down. I'm gonna stay nearer to this guy. Oh, hello. This is a bit frenetic. I hope Bandicam is keeping up with all this. I don't know. I've not really tried to um, do 60 FPS recording. I think I've done one or two tests in the past, but I was uh, never gonna be able to upload it before now. And I actually don't know. I mean, whether or not this is uh, in 60 FPS. Well, it partly depends on what Bandicam does. And oh, you were coming for me. It also partly depends on exactly how big the file size is, because the only 60 FPS test video I've ever actually done was a 720p video, uh, and it was uh, a CK2 video. And I can't actually remember what the upload size was for that, what it ended up being different instead. And obviously CK2 is a rather more sedate game as well. So you'll definitely see um, uh, 60 FPS CK2 videos. and. Even even if it's like double the the size, I mean, it's still going to be uh, with an overnight upload, easily uploaded before I actually then have to get up the next morning. Because the the kind of uh, 1080p file sizes I'm uploading at the moment, um, previously it would have been easily 12 hours for like a two gigabyte file, say, and now it's maybe two hours. A little over two hours. So it's it, even though my upload speeds are like uh, not great, I, um, they're still much much better, and it's it's absolutely noticeable. And if anything, I mean it's costing me at the moment I think like an extra five pounds a month. But um, we have a lot of doctor bags, and we don't need a lot of doctor bags. I or he's got no. Actually, that's not doctor bags. That's uh, we have no ammo. Um, I'll see if any of them have ammo bags, because my ammo bags are uh, basic. I've got double doctor bags, and I've got... Um, I've, I've got seven med kits. So, um, if the guy with... Uh, well, he might not even have ammo bags unlocked. See if that guy, because it's it's better if I take the double, which is exactly what I'm going to type. Oh, he's only got that. Literally, only got that. Well, well, rats. Okay. Um, this is this is a sucky loadout, but it's not that hard of a difficulty, and. Uh, yeah. 
it's me and this guy who's well he's got double dock no he hasn't got double dock bags why why do i keep seeing these as dock bags they're not dock bags they're the suitcase turret things so we don't need the suitcase turrets but that's what he's specced into so <laughs> we'll see this might be interesting i might be constantly running out of ammo but on this difficulty it probably won't be an issue Probably. I could have switched to the bearded axe actually, we could have seen that in action. I did try the shield, the shield actually has the best uh, concealment value, but it uh, doesn't hit very hard. It's more of a knockback weapon than a, uh, an anything else weapon. I was very lucky I didn't kill that civilian there. Right, is there any other guards around? Right, there's that guy. Go and drill the roof. Because, uh,. I think even on this difficulty, you still get the uh, uh, the electrified vault door, which I've seen. I mean, uh, I saying I've seen people get caught out by that. I've still been caught out by that, even after having played this. I don't know how many times because I get confused and think it's just a regular bank job. And then, hello, Mr. Security Guard. It's not a regular bank job. It is, in fact, uh, this. Oh, there we go. There's sometimes a package up here, it's always worth checking. There's some dudes. So yeah, this is a nice, with all the, the mods that, that I've got on this Cobra, I mean, this is my go-to SMG secondary. And the Para, if I've got more points to play with, then I might take that instead. But this actually, I think, has more ammo than the Para, which is not bad. Uh, so, oh, yes, hostages might be useful. So let's uh, tie some. I've only got the two cable ties. I've, I've, I actually, I mean, I do have um, a loud uh, uh, skill build, but I hardly ever use it. Like, if, if I feel like pulling out the minigun or the RPG, I take the loud skill set. But uh, most of the time, I just run around with this. The only downside with this is I don't get to run around and hit people with a shovel nearly so often because the shovel doesn't have a particularly great concealment rating, and that's sad. Because the shovel is my favourite melee weapon in the whole game. Because you get to hit people with a shovel and what's not to love. Now, why is this guy taking hostages? Um, yeah. I don't know why he's doing that, but okay. Right, is this... You're a dude. And now you're not. Oh, no, he's still alive. How dare you still be alive? That's that's very inconsiderate of you. Right, so... Uh, oh, is there a package there? No, that's actually just ammo that was floating weirdly. So did he blow the door after I was, you know, so patiently drilling? How rude. <laughs> Although blowing doors is absolutely the quickest way to a lot of the time get through. So... Oh, right. Let's put the ammo bag down here. It's always, I mean, they sometimes gas this room, so it's always good to put it down where you can reach it through a wall. And that's what I try to do these days. You'll also notice, I'm, I'm, or maybe you noticed in the menu, I'm topped out at in, Infamy 6 100. And I could have probably been up to like 8 100 at this point, but I decided, like, beyond the first five where there is a point to it, um, at, after that stage, it is basically like just extra masks and stuff and you just end up on a, a, a train of kind of constantly accelerating uh, XP rewards so you'll go up and up and up and through quicker each time but it's I don't know it, it's grinding through and, and not having all that those skill points to, to work with and the reward is just well here's some extra masks and, and bonus things and it just doesn't. Oh, and. Oh, oh, oh. Here's me on my reload. Right, he's not going to rush me just yet, which is good. Uh, so I just decided, you know what? I'm just. I got up to 6 100 and I thought, that's it. I'm, I'm fine with this. I don't actually need all these extra masks or any of these other things. So I'm just. I'm just going to stay here and have a full 120 points to play with and do whatever with the skill bills. And, and like, whenever they introduce new. Uh, um, uh, uh, perk decks, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. 
then I can I can just basically immediately ace them out because I've got so many kind of uh, bits of XP sitting around that it's just like uh, that's. Uh, uh, are you all right there? That that doesn't look healthy. Um, I I would say consult a pri uh, chiropractor, sir, because I, I I think you may be having issues. Now where is he being? Oh, there's the taser. So. Oh, there we go. Two shields with one. Very, very ammo efficient. So, uh, yeah, I, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> but uh, I don't think this is... Oh, they're, they're gassing this area. That's unusual. I don't normally see them gassing this mid-office area. Okay. Um, yeah. I still haven't opened that back door yet. That also is unusual. But this game is... Um, I mean, one of the reasons why I keep playing it, even... Now I'm not on that kind of uh, grindy mill anymore. I am just playing it for fun and, you know, they have reasonably regular updates coming out and uh, the last, I mean, the the Jiro character, the perk deck that came with him wasn't particularly good, but they did a, a kind of, or one of the things they did do, another recent update, was uh, a, a balance, a, a rebalance of a lot of the skills and they actually um, I can't remember what that was exactly. That might have been kind of uh, in the time frame of the last video I put up. But they um, made some things more powerful, some things less powerful. Just um, generally uh, buffed things that people weren't using because there weren't any good. And, uh, I think they nerfed the grinder perk deck a bit generally in terms of its health regen capabilities. Although it's still pretty good. Oh, hello, you're a sniper. Where are you? Cheeky sir. So yeah. So, but that seems to be. Oh, hello. Most of the recent update has been. Uh, I have to really hit them dead on with the arrow. Has been um, the kind of interface layout changes and probably a bunch of back end stuff. And the the new. I don't know, it's funny, the, the, the new intro video, um, the, the, you can actually go and watch it on YouTube, it's, it's like they're almost promising a step up in difficulty, but all it really is is just, um, you know, a new kind of boss. But I've seen already clips of him on uh, uh, the uh, Death Wish level, and he's just, the, the cops he turns up with are just insanely hard to kill. They're just massive bullet sponges. So, you know, th that is more difficult. It's kind of like a uh, a mini-boss addition to the game. But I don't know if it's... I, I don't know the rules yet. I don't know if Winterton or Winterbottom or Underhill or whatever his name is. <laughs> if he just kind of turns up randomly or if it's uh, a pre-scripted thing on some missions or... I, I, I don't know. But I would guess, given the... The, the penchant for randomization in this game, that things appear in different places each time, uh, that it would probably be somewhat dynamic at least. But we'll see. Time will tell. And if not, people smarter than me will figure it out and then write it on the wiki. So let's just have a look around here. Nobody, uh, nobody trying to be cheeky. The thing I like most about the dodge build is just the extra mobility. I mean, obviously, um, the uh, getting your, your health back by doing damage is very, very useful. But the ability to run around and just kind of check places quickly, uh, it's very, very useful sometimes. I've actually done um, the, the, the Meltdown Heist. Uh, they're, they're just not using that back door at all. Um, where... Everybody managed to get killed but me, and I somehow managed to hoof it back to the train and survive. I still don't know quite how I managed it, but yeah, everyone was just kind of spectating me, and then uh, I felt quite pleased afterwards, because, uh, yeah, normally with that kind of pressure, trying to finish a, a mission solo when everyone else has died, it'd be quite tough. But I think just the nature of the Meltdown mission, where you've got that last, ooh, that last bit with the, hello, fellas. Yes, mine's bigger. Um, with the uh, the uh, uh, the car and the the forklifts, and uh, that gives you some protection from. Oh, hello! Right now, this is where this also comes in useful because 
goodbye faceplate and my eyes can just nail him so that's absolutely fine so yeah this is why I like to always have something that can deal with shields that can deal with faceplates that can uh, do some AoE damage um, or not even AoE damage something that just has some punch so either something with HE rounds or uh, something with uh, you know a, a sniper primary and actually HE rounds you can get both nice primaries and secondaries that make use of those I don't think that's that's some strange I don't think it's supposed to be doing that um, so yeah we could pick locks or I could just sit and, and yatter away and make sure nobody tries to come up behind so this has actually worked out all right I mean my basic ammo bag was indeed very basic but like I said this is a, a rather oh finally they've come through here it's a rather efficient little um, uh, SMG in terms of its ammo use and in terms of its ammo pickup so uh, yeah no we haven't struggled at all that's rather nice and that's a dude lurking in the smoke I think that was a smoke grenade and it, it's just kind of bugged out on my screen a bit it probably doesn't look like that for anyone else it's just probably just for me and that's a an arrow that I fired that's one of my arrows except sometimes uh, sometimes somehow it's just I don't know so yeah that's that's uh, just a little one of the the many little bugs that I'm sure this update is wrong because they usually are uh, with with payday a few although it's actually been I have to say ooh, hello relatively stable over the last couple of patches it went f for a while through a period where um, we had a good couple of patches where it was just it was crashing a lot regardless of whether we were using Hawks HUD or any other mods and that wasn't very fun you'd be in the middle of a mission and it would crash or you'd be hosting a mission and it would crash and of course that's just annoying for everybody so yeah it's been more stable at least and if it's a little bit buggy well it's buggy in a way that's not actually crashing the game so we're just going I think okay good that's fine by me so yeah a tiny bit glitchy maybe but uh, not in a crashy crashy way so just sprint for the exit and we're done so we'll see what kind of file size this comes out as. It's just over half an hour of uh, 1080p, 60fps. And actually, I have to say, Payday runs... Uh, a, in terms of its frame rate, it runs very, very well. So I think there will have been no problem. I've done some tests recording 60fps with World of Warships. And if I'm recording World of Warships live, I might be able to get away with it. If I'm recording World of Warships from replays, almost certainly not. And World of Tanks, probably not either. I mean, uh, I think when 60fps was first introduced to YouTube, Jingles basically flat out said, yeah, I'm not doing World of Tanks 60fps because <laughs> World of Tanks just won't run consistently at 60fps, even with a good machine. So, yeah. Uh, let's pick a thing. I have to remember to do this because this is another one of those little things that HoxHUD does automatically, or at least you can set it to do automatically. And it, it always trips me, up, uh, trips me up when a new update comes out because I'm just sat there thinking, huh, Hawks HUD isn't flipping the card. Oh, wait, yeah, Hawks HUD isn't actually installed. So let's, um, let's go back to the lobby and I will wrap things up there. So that's how Payday looks at the moment. It'll, once Hawks HUD has caught up, it'll be even better once again. I won't have to run around having to hold down the F key to interact with things like some kind of peasant uh, and I won't have to turn on my lasers every single time but uh, yeah it's still um, I don't know payday is still perfectly playable without any mods it's just it's a, a lot of little quality of life improvements that Hoxhood in particular brings that I just end up missing every time so if you've enjoyed this uh, look at what payday is uh, what it's like at the moment how it's doing you can hit the like button, you can leave any comments below, you can subscribe to my channel, and as always, stay tuned for more.